Hi, I'm Lauren with Bargain Bead Box, and today we're going to talk about the February 2024 Budding Romance Collection, and we're just going to go through, look at everything that's in it, and I'm going to talk about why I picked that, kind of just step through the curation process, which was very interesting this month, so I'm excited to share that with you. Let's get started. All right, so first we have the uh, Malaysia Jade, which is the trade name for its dyed quartz, faceted teardrop pendant, and it is set in a gold finished brass bezel. And now I don't usually do the exact same metal tone two months in a row. We try to mix it up a little bit, but I could not resist this pendant. It's just so pretty. The faceting on that teardrop is amazing. And um, the bezel is very sturdy. It's open in the back. You can see the way this is faceted. And one of the things I love about this quartz is that every pendant is a little bit unique. It varies in um, how opaque it is versus transparent. And as well as it's just going to pick up the dye a little bit differently every time based on the veining inside the stone So I just think these are gorgeous. This was kind of the find that I was like, all right I'm gonna do a box with this color <laughs> and then for our second item we have a uh, a Strand of the eight millimeter Malaysia Jade. Now this one has not exactly a matte finish. It's more like a satin polish It's not made to be super shiny and I love, again, you get these great like cranberry colors mixed in with some white and it's just, it's very marbled. So even though it doesn't have a ton of texture and gloss in the finish itself, that's kind of a fun, uh, it just, it, it's a fun accent to the way that the color falls in it, the contrast, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> the patterns in the color are a fun contrast to the very um, understated polish that it has. So that's our second item. And then third is this one, which I showed you guys in the preview video. And this is the six by four millimeter Fasted Rondelles. Again, in that Malaysia Jade, we dyed them the exact same color as the pendant. Um, and this is the strand that we added to the box when the blue beads didn't come out right as we expected. And I'm actually very glad that we did. I think it's awesome to have some variation in the shape of the beads that have this great color, matches the pendant perfectly, and um, it's just kind of sparkly. And I love sparkly. <laughs> Which brings us to the next item. So this is approximately 15 inches of Genuine Garnet, three millimeter micro faceted rounds. And when I found these, I bought them so fast. <laughs> Anytime I can find Garnet at an amazing price, I'm thrilled. And these ones especially, they're just, faceted so beautifully they're so shiny and they're they're really small they're like a three to three point five millimeter somewhere in there um very slightly from strand to strand but they pack so much sparkle and i just i love genuine gemstones so finding garnet and being able to put it in the box at the price that it was i was just yeah, yes absolutely next we have these 10 millimeter uh, faceted rounds. And these again are the Malaysia Jade dyed quartz. And again, we've used that same cranberry raspberry color to go with the pendant. And these are fun. The slightly larger size um, makes them great for accent beads to go with the focal. And they've got sort of a dimpled, gentle faceting. They aren't gonna be quite as in your face as the garnet, but they're also larger in size. So I think that works really well. And our next item is our final gemstone strand. And these are um, some genuine rose quartz, just natural. So the pinks vary a lot. You've got some icy white tones, a little bit of gray. They kind of go from pale pink to mauve. And um, I think rose quartz is a fun stone for February. And a little bit of a pink accent without being too over the top, it's more natural tones. So that's why I picked those. And again, anytime I can find genuine stones at a good discount to include, I'm happy. All right, so these are a four millimeter crystal round bead in kind of a turquoise green. Um, it's approximately a 20 inch strand. And I really liked this pale turquoise green color. I wanted to sort of have a bead that would visually represent like the leaves on a rose but I didn't want to go like to emerald green forest green because I didn't want it to look like Christmas either. <laughs> so we've got these great opaque turquoise beads. They're sparkly, they're small, and I think they're a really fun accent color. 
to that like kind of cranberry Malaysia Jade. Next, we have more crystals. These are six by four millimeter facet rondelles in like a lavender tone. I like this too because you get a little bit of purple without being too over the top. Um, it's a nice pastel complement to the green and pink as well. I kind of wanted to go for something that overall, the color palette, something that could work for Valentine's Day, but also since uh, we do keep shipments open until the 9th for new members, I recognize that not everyone is gonna necessarily have their collection by Valentine's Day, depending on the mail. So I wanted to pick something that could kind of move into spring as well. That's why you've got some of these lighter, more pastel -y type opaque colors that would be great for spring and Easter, but also make fun accents to the deep mulberry, raspberry type colors of the garnet. All right, so next we have these enameled metal rose charms. And I really like these because you've got the green leaves and you've got little pink rose buds and they've got a lot of detailing on them. On the back, the pink enamel is on the back as well. And um, they've got also these fun little loops. They just get, create some different design possibilities. You could attach some things there as well. I just thought they were really fun and cute. All right. So next we have these little 13 millimeter, 18 karat gold plated brass in cubic zirconia drops. And I like the way these go from crystal to pink to red. They kind of pull in the color scheme. They're very, uh, they're very small but they have that great garnet color. If you want to make a delicate piece with these and the faceted garnets, it would match really well. They'd be fun earring drops. Honestly, they just matched our color scheme so well. And anytime you get the um, gold plating over the brass and colored cubic zirconia crystals, I'm just like, yeah, I love those things. It's one of my favorite combinations for charms. So we've got those. And then we have this piece, which I think is super fun. Um, you have, a filigree style brass flower with an attached bar here. One thing to note, the bar on the back, these little loops do open. They are not soldered shut. So if you wanted to separate the pieces and use you know, this connector without this one or vice versa, you could do that. Or you could keep it together and use it for a chandelier focal just the way it is. And again, this is the 18 karat gold plating. I love gold plated findings because it just kind of helps unify the color scheme. Sometimes you don't really know for sure what kind of gold you're gonna get, but if it's 18 karat, it tends to match other 18 karat pieces pretty nicely. And I will say that although this has a lot of delicate filigree style work, it feels very sturdy and it's pretty thick. It's a little bit 3D with the petal on top and then a, a layer on the bottom as well. And I just, I really, really love this piece. All right, next we have two piece enameled metal branch charms. All right, and so these actually um, ended up matching our blue quartz beads fairly well. They're a little on the bluer side of the teal spectrum and um, especially against the gold. I think they're really pretty and fun. They would make great earrings or um, pendants. Honestly, I just, I love plants, I love flowers. I really liked the leaf patterns and the enamel work is just so bright and pretty. So that's why I picked those. And I really went back and forth on clasps because I love toggle clasps, but I usually try to send at least two or three. And this one is a very fancy and more expensive clasp, so we only sent one, but it is gorgeous. It matches our theme perfectly. And it's again, the 18 karat gold plated brass. And the reason it's more expensive is because of just the way that it's cast and the fine detail in it. I adore the little tiny blossom on the end of the toggle here. It's got a cute little figural flower on the loop there as well. So it's a really pretty bar, a really pretty ring. I just, I like that clasp a lot. All right, and next are bead caps. If you've been getting this box for a while, you know that I love bead caps. I send them almost every month. So these ones are a 6.5 millimeter. I wanted to include something that would work with both the smaller and larger beads. And in general, smaller caps will work okay with larger beads, but larger caps look a little silly on the smaller beads. And these are just really subtle kind of floral petal beads to go with our budding romance theme. It's a bit of like a, like a garden. 
and I just, I love a bead cap. I'll be honest, last month doing the tutorial videos, designing without the bead caps I typically use, it, it was a stretch and I enjoyed it. And I, I loved those pieces as well, but bead caps make me happy. I really love designing with them. And you get a lot in this month too. It's 10 grams. They're pretty small. It's a, it's a pretty good handful. All right, and next we have these 20 pieces of these rose flower beads. I like these as spacer beads. I think they're also just a lot of fun in earrings. And I use them a bunch of different ways actually this month. I'm excited to show you some of those in our tutorial videos coming up here. But these, again, they are um, lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. They've got the design on both sides. They are drilled top to bottom here through the middle. And they're just a lot of fun. I always like to include some spacer beads and when I can find fun shaped beads that might be a little different from what you have at home already, I like to throw those in. Okay, and so this is our chain um, and it is a two and a half by two millimeter. Um, so it's pretty small, but it is stainless steel and it is also plated in 18 karat gold. Gold plated stainless steel is some of the more expensive end of the jewelry chain spectrum, but we got a fabulous deal on this. And yeah, it may be little, but it is sturdy. Stainless steel also has the benefit of being super hypoallergenic, which I love. I have a lot of metal allergies, so I like to buy higher quality things. And the gold plating also helps with that as well on all of the brass pieces and everything. It's again, just kind of getting that hypoallergenic gold or stainless steel coat is really, really helpful for me. So I hope you enjoy that chain. I always like to include some chain because I love chain and I use it in a lot of my designs. All right, so these are 18 karat gold plated again and these are brass filigree components. And these are a true filigree. They are very thin brass stampings, but they are still pretty sturdy. They are very difficult to bend. And um, they've got one loop at the top, three at the bottom, and this fun, almost like peacock feather pattern. But it also looks to me like a bit like tulip buds or something that just has a little bit of a floral touch so I enjoy making earrings with these you could also make a triple strand necklace use them as connectors that way just all kinds of different possibilities and lastly we have the blue beads um, if you watched my other video you know these were meant to be kind of a teal color they were meant to be a little bit deeper green blue than our turquoise but there was a bit of an incident at the lapidary that came out with this very, very vivid blue. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm actually seeing it all together, really surprised at how nicely they still do match these. Again, they are supposed to be way more on the teal side of things, but I, I do kind of love them still. And hey, we got an extra strand of beads out of it for y'all. So I hope you enjoy these ones too. They'll also be absolutely gorgeous with all the blues in December's last box or even our January box this year has like the Neptune beads that'll look really pretty with. All right, so that is everything. That is in the February 2024 bargain bead box. If you remember, then you got this package for $22.99 with free shipping in the USA. If you are not a member and you join now, your subscription will begin with March's shipment. And I just gotta say, I am super excited for March's shipment too. But if you love this one also, it's got all these great, nice romantic colors, some fun things for spring. Um, you can find it at our sister store, beadboxbargains.com for $29.99 while supplies last. And that will also have free shipping to the USA. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, the curation process was a little bit different this month. We had to we had the one strand that didn't come out quite as we expected, had to kind of work with it, but we got the other strand free. And um, I hope that you guys have a lot of fun designing with this box. I can't wait to show you the tutorials and um, some of our some of our team members are also excited to show you what they made this month. So I hope you will like and subscribe. And um, yeah, we've got lots more fun things coming up for you. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Happy beating.